check out the instructor's comments at the end of this video for more info. Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to show you something that we kind of been tossing around for the last few weeks, but uh, don't worry, uh, doing uh, a jumping rope and cables on our bikes for doing testing and whatnot. We normally just kind of stuff rags by our connectors, so when we got them hooked up like so, being around metal and whatnot, we normally put rags and wrap them around. But uh, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to take an old inner tube and we're going to cut a couple uh, pieces out of it, so uh, just wrap it around because rags aren't the best thing to do because if it does touch and spark, your rag can catch on fire and it's just not a good day. So, I'm going to cut the center tube. That way we have a piece to go around everything. But now we're going to take, on each end, we're going to cut a couple holes. A couple holes like so, I don't know if you guys can see those. And now we're going to take a zip tie. That's what the holes are for. So when we uh, wrap around, and when we do this, we're not going to use the rib side of the uh, zip tie. A close up of a correct and incorrect way to make that zip tie to where you can continuously reuse it without having to lock it. Because we could reuse these and it makes it a lot easier and cheaper and whatnot. So we're just going to take the zip tie and run it backwards on the smooth side so I could sit there and do this so, so we're going and it's tight it's not going to go anywhere that's what we're doing Hey, this was a great job by uh, Anthony here, coming up with the idea of the zip tie and not having to uh, use it normal so that you'd lock it in. You guys saw that in the video. But I just want to say we really take a lot of, you know, seriousness to working safe. And a lot of people use jumper cables, you know, aren't thinking about the fact that if they slip or something happens, they uh, aren't paying attention to the wire just dangling in the air like that, that it could come in contact and then create other problems. So uh, thinking outside the box and, and coming up with uh, ideas that can be repeated. And, and another thing when it comes to safety if you make it available and make it easy it, it's a lot more likely that techs are going to use it so uh, have a great day keep wrenching and once again great job anthony